Hi students. In this session, I am taking uh, one of the named reaction called carbalamine reaction with its mechanism from the topic amines. First, let us take its uh, reaction, then we can go for mechanism. All right, carbalamine reaction. At first, uh, the meaning of this, you know, carbalamine is another name for uh, isocyanides with formula R N C. So the functional group here we got uh, NC right. So you can take isocyanides or carbalamines. And uh, the name of this reaction came because of in this reaction uh, we'll get formation of carbalamines or isocyanides. Okay, and this reaction uh, is a test for primary amines. So only primary amines will give carbalamine reaction okay and if you take primary amine we can take uh, aliphatic or aromatic primary amine both uh, will give this test as positive right now what reagent we take in the case of carbalamine reaction let me take the reaction of aliphatic and aromatic primary amines on heating with chloroform okay reagent is chloroform and ethanolic potassium hydroxide so the mixture of chloroform chcl3 and alcoholic potassium hydroxide uh, what happens it forms isocyanides or they are also called carbalamines okay identification uh, in this reaction okay uh, which is very unique right we'll get formation of compound called carbalamines and these compounds are full smelling compounds so by order uh, one can easily guess right the amine taken is primary or no okay or we got formation of isocyanide or no okay right so in this way we take uh, carbalamine reaction let us see the reaction then i taken first rnh2 primary amine upon reaction with chloroform and three moles of potassium hydroxide alcoholic upon heating results in formation of rnc which is called isocyanide then three moles of kcl and three moles of water right so the main is what the conversion amine primary amine is converted into isocyanide let us see its mechanism now okay the first step in the mechanism is you can see i taken uh, chloroform here right chcl3 i have shown uh, separately right carbon hydrogen bond so oh minus first picks a proton okay if it picks a proton you can see the bonding electrons uh, will shift on the carbon okay so results in formation of what now ccl3 minus you can take this as a carbon ion formation now once you get carbon ion uh, it's being uh, unstable so what happens uh, one of the chlorine here it takes bonding electrons and leaves in the form of chloride so ccl3 minus is converted into ccl2 uh, in which carbon is having a pair of electron so we can call this type of intermediate as carbenes and uh, in the case of carbalamine reaction we get formation of intermediate particularly a uh, dichlorocarbene so remember uh, many times question asked based on intermediates also right so in carbalamine reaction uh, it involves the intermediate dichlorocarbene now once you get dichlorocarbene uh, the next step is with amine now okay so amine you can see nitrogen having um, lone pair of electron right and uh, dichlorocarbene carbon is having slight electrophilic nature and that arises because of presence of two electron withdrawing groups here or you can take uh, more electronegative atoms that's chlorine right so it will be having slightly or slight electrophilic nature so what happens in nitrogen will attack on the carbon okay and you can see what structure will get there if it attacks on the carbon we got new bond form between nitrogen and carbon and around nitrogen we're having only four electrons so it gets positive charge and around carbon we got five electrons so it will be having negative charge okay the next step is what abstraction of proton so carbon having negative charge it abstracts a proton which is attached to the nitrogen okay and then what happens the bonding electron shift on the nitrogen in the form of 
lone pair of electron so it should be having a lone pair of electron right see the change now we got rnh one of the hydrogen shifted to the carbon right here you got then uh, remaining as it is right okay the next step now once you get this next step hydroxide will again pick a proton which is attached to the nitrogen okay right why it takes this proton only because it's attached to nitrogen and nitrogen being uh, more electronegative uh, that's the reason why this hydrogen is more acidic in nature okay right if it picks a proton the bonding electrons shift between carbon and nitrogen so this bond becomes a double bond right now just see if it becomes double bond what about this carbon if i write double bond here this becomes pentavalent right so one bond should be broken now and uh, you know the chlorine being electronegative so it can take the bonding electrons and leave in the form of chloride so it will leave in the form of cl minus right so the change what you can write now r uh, we got n right then double bond c one hydrogen and one chlorine on that right now again hydroxide ion you know one uh, hydrogen remaining now right which is also acidic because of it's attached to sp2 hybridized carbon as well as we got presence of electron withdrawing group okay or more electronegative element so oh minus will pick a proton then the bonding electron shift on the carbon okay and once you shift on the carbon uh, again number of electrons around carbon will be more right so one bond should be broken right now so what happens then again carbon chlorine bond breaks chlorine will leave in the form of chloride now just see what we got first r then you got n right here uh, which contains a lone pair then double bond c okay carbon is also having a lone pair now right okay and this is this structure what you got here is resonance structure of the next form you can see the next form here what you can do a lone pair of electron on the nitrogen shift between nitrogen and carbon so this becomes what double bond becomes triple bond you can see here and carbon uh, which is having lone pair as it is right intact okay now just see number of electrons around each atom around nitrogen we got only four electrons present right so it will be having positive charge and around carbon we got totally uh, five electrons so it is having a negative charge so we can write this uh, as r n c uh, called iso cyanide okay we don't mention charge because of it is having equal positive charge and equal negative charge okay right so in this way uh, we take mechanism for carbalamine reaction thank you for watching